name is Veronica. Today we are going to be practicing in all levels of vinyasa flow. I'm sitting on a blanket. If you would like, you can use a blanket or a towel, or you can also use blocks. And what it does, it allows uh, your pelvis to slightly tilt forward and provide better support for your spine so you can sit up nice and tall. To start, let's go ahead and place our hands on our knees allowing our shoulders to soften up and relax away from the ears. And if it's okay with you, either closing your eyes or setting a soft gaze towards the ground. Take a moment to simply observe how are you feeling today. Noticing sensations in your body. Perhaps acknowledging or labeling whatever is in your mind. And then checking with your breath. Noticing the flow of your breath. And start to deepen your breath in and out of your nose. Expanding with every inhale. Observing every exhale. And as you inhale, create space in your belly by expanding your belly, pressing your navel away. And as you exhale, softening up. Option to place your hand on your belly and your hand on your chest. And as you inhale, expanding so your diaphragm may descend and your lungs expand. And then as you exhale, you soften up. Inhale deep and exhale, empty up. One more like that. Inhale and through your mouth, exhale. Bringing your arms up over your head, still with your eyes closed or a soft gaze. And as you exhale, bring your hands over your face, not quite touching them, but close enough. Inhaling through your nose. Through your mouth, exhale with warm breath. Through your nose, breathe in to start to cultivate ujjayi breath. Through your mouth, exhale. Through your nose, inhale. This time with your mouth closed, through your nose, breathe out. With that same constriction in the back of the throat, inhale through your nose. And through your nose, exhale. Continue with that slow, mindful breath, ocean-like sound. Using this breath as a perch where to rest your attention throughout the practice and as a tool to carry you through the challenge of the practice. As you inhale, bring your arms up over your head. And as you exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up over your head. Exhale, twist to the other side. And breathe in, arms up. Lengthening through the side body. Breathe out, twist. Hold it there, stay there as you inhale. And perhaps twist 
a little bit deeper for the exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Arms up overhead, inhale. Twist for the exhale. Hold it there as you breathe in. Deepen as you breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Arms up overhead, breathe in. Hands to the ground right in front of you as you breathe out. As you inhale, lift the ribs up and forward. And as you exhale, if it's accessible to you, walk your hands a little bit further. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, round the spine, rise up. Exhale, finding that long spine. Arms up overhead, breathe in. Reach a little bit higher with one of your arms lengthening to one side of the body. Inhale to the other side. And exhale, switch. Then breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale, hands to your heart. Bringing your arms up over your head. Transition to a tabletop, grounding through your hands. If you would like, you can use a blanket underneath your knees. If, especially if you have sensitive knees. This is optional. Spreading your fingers wide open. Pressing through your whole hand onto the ground. Swing your hips from side to side slowly. Noticing what sensations arise with that movement. And if you would like, as you sit your hip to one side, gaze over that shoulder and take a peek at your hip. And then the other side. And again. And again. Coming back to center into a neutral spine. Gently pulling your navel in to support your spine. Extend one leg back. Flexing through your foot, pressing your heel back. And keeping your hips in line with the other. You may stay there, or if it's accessible to you, extend the opposite arm forward, gazing at your thumb. Inhale. Elbow to knee and knee to your chest. Inhale, reach forward and press back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, reach forward, press back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. Both hands down, both knees down to the ground. Walk that same leg out off your mat as you extend the opposite leg all the way back. Grounding through your head on the floor, extend the opposite arm up towards the ceiling. Still keeping that core engagement, neutral pelvis, ground through the pinky toe of your extended leg. Bring your arm over your ear with the palm facing down, creating a long line of energy. Option to look down towards the ground, to look forward or to look up. Three circles, reach forward, down and back with your arm. And two more times, inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Stay there. Or lift your extended leg up, bringing your heel to the level of your hip. Flexing your toe towards your face. Inhale. Stay there or reach back. Grab your foot. First bring your foot towards your heel. Feel that stretch on your quadriceps. 
bicep on your thigh muscle. And then kick your foot into your hand, creating a heart opener. Inhale. And exhale, release. Coming back to your tabletop. Knees together, toes together. Press your hips back. Child's pose. Three breaths. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Ground through your hands. Pull yourself forward. Coming back to your tabletop. This time, extend the opposite leg, the one that you haven't worked with quite yet, back. And then the opposite arm forward, pressing your heel back, keeping your pelvis neutral. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, bring your knee towards your chest and your elbow towards your knee. Contract. Inhale, reach forward, press back. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale. And exhale. Reach forward, press back. Exhale, both hands, both knees to the ground. Now you get to see the pose from a different perspective now. That same leg, walk your foot out of the mat. Extend the opposite leg all the way back. And bring your arm up towards the ceiling. Press down with the pinky toe on the outer edge of your extended uh, foot. Inhale. And exhale. Three circles reaching forward, over and down. And send your arm back. Circular motions lubricate our joints and help with that range of motion in your shoulder joint. One more breath. And exhale. Pressing down with your hand, lift that leg up to the level of your hip, flexing your toe. Then bend your knee, reach back, grab your foot with your hand, bring it first towards your glute, feel that opening in your quadricep, and then kick your foot into your hand for a back bend, opening your heart. Inhale. And exhale, release, coming back to your tabletop. Let's go ahead and move our hands back and remove the blanket, just for safety, as we transition into our standing poses. We can keep our blanket close by if we were to need it for support of our knees. Moving on to downward facing dog, let's start with a tabletop, walking our hands forward one hand length, Spreading fingers wide open, pressing the mat away. As we find that core engagement, lower belly in, hugging ribs towards each other, lift the hips up and back. Take a moment there to explore the sensations in the back of your legs. What are your hamstrings telling you today? Your calves. Pedal your dog or walk your dog slowly to give yourself enough time to listen to what the legs are telling you today. And when you're ready, coming back to stillness, keeping a slight bit on your knees, lifting your sit bones up and back, checking with that core engagement and pressing the mat away from you. Inhale. And exhale. And gaze forward. Keeping your hands fully connected to the ground. Tiptoe slowly shifting shoulders forward to the top of your mat. And you should have your blocks, or if you have some blocks in front of you, bring them about six inches in front of your toes. You can have them in the middle setting, or you can have them in the higher setting. With the blocks down, go ahead and bend one knee, and place the 
arm on that same side on the block. As you straighten the opposite leg and open that arm up towards the ceiling. Noticing what's happening with your hip. If your hip pops to one side in the beginning, you can be on the tip of the fingers. You can be on the middle setting of your mat, depending where your body is at today. Inhale. And exhale, press yourself up with that twist. And come back down. Let's switch hands, bending the knee of the same side where you have your hand planted on the block. And then opposite arm goes up towards the ceiling. See what works for you on the side of your body. Keeping your hips in line with each other. Inhale. And exhale. Press up with your twist. And come back down. Forward fold. Go ahead and place your blocks back on the ground. And slowly, one vertebrae at a time, walk your hands up through your shins, through your knees, through your thighs, coming up to mountain pose. Palms facing forward, and let's build the foundation of the pose from the ground up, lifting your toes, spreading them open, and then bring them down to the ground. Lift your kneecaps, contract your thigh muscles, and find a neutral pelvis by gently lifting your pelvic bone up towards your belly button and lengthening through your tailbone. Hugging your ribs towards each other, soften through your neck and shoulders, and pressing your crown up towards the ceiling, tall, strong, and steady like a mountain. As you inhale, bring your arms up over your head. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Surya Namaskara A, Sun Salutation A. Inhale, extend the mountain arms up. Exhale, softening your knees, forward fold. Come on, halfway up as you breathe in. Step back to a high plank as you breathe out. Stacking shoulders over wrists, pressing through your toes so that your heels are over your toes. Contract your thigh muscles. Now you can stay right in here, or you can bring your knees to the ground for a modified plank. Hug the, hug the elbows in, shift your crown forward, take a deep breath, and as you exhale, bend your elbows and come all the way down to your belly. Top of the feet on the mat. For your first um, cobra, as you inhale, lift your chest. And as you exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, press your hips up and back. Three breaths, inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath. And exhale. Gaze between your thumbs as you breathe in. Step forward to the top of the mat as you breathe out. Come halfway up as you inhale. Forward fold as you exhale. Inhale, pressing your feet down, rise up. Hands to your heart for the exhale. Second round, inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway up as you breathe in. Step back, high plank as you breathe out. Inhale. Your version of Chaturanga for your exhale. Finding a back bend cobra or upward facing dog this time. Downward facing dog for the exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. Inhale and exhale. And one more breath. 
and exhale. Gaze between your fingers, breathe in. Step forward to the top of the mat as you breathe up. Halfway up, forward fold. Extend the mountain, hands to your heart. Surya Namaskara B, Sun Salutation Chair Pose with Katasana. Inhale. Stay there to your exhale, lower your hips. Breathe in. And breathe out. Option to have your arms at the level of the shoulders, hands at heart center, or at the level of the ears. Inhale. Forward fold for the exhale. Halfway up as you breathe in. Chaturanga as you breathe out, with or without your knees on the mat. And find a back bend, cobra or upper facing dog, downward facing dog for the exhale. As you inhale, bring your right foot forward and build the foundation of your warrior one before you come all the way up. Grounding through your back foot, grounding through the front foot, lengthening through the spine, engaging through your core, and then rise up, steady. Inhale, stay there through your exhale, and breathe in. Chaturanga, or you may skip your chaturanga anytime and flow to a downward facing dog. Back bend cobra or upper facing dog, downward facing dog for your exhale. Stay here for one deep breath and exhale. From bringing your left foot forward, ground, lengthen, engage, and rise up, warrior one. Boom, breathe in and breathe out. Inhale, Chaturanga or Downward Facing Dog for your exhale. Back bend and Downward Facing Dog. Three breaths, breathe in and breathe out. Two more breaths. And at any time when we are on Downward Facing Dog, if you wish to choose a puppy pose or a child's pose, feel free to do so. Gaze between your thumbs as you inhale. Step forward to the top of the mat as you exhale. Halfway up. Forward fold. Chair pose, breathe in. Exhale the mountain and hands to your heart center. Bringing your feet, either keep with this stance where your big toes touching, grounding through your feet, lifting your kneecaps, engaging your thigh muscles for a half moon, bringing your arms up. Grab opposite ribs and stretch to one side. Option to stay there if you would like, you can slide that arm down your leg, tuck your chin open and roll your head up. Inhale, and exhale, noticing all that opening happening through that side of the body. Breathe in, and let's switch sides as you breathe up. Inhale, and exhale, and breathe in, and breathe up. Arms up overhead, hands to your heart for the exhale. One more chair pose, sitting your hips low, arms at the level of the shoulders. Inhale, open your right arm back as you exhale and twist. Breathe in, send it forward. Breathe out, opposite arm, twisting through your torso. Inhale, exhale, twist, and breathe in, twist, 
twist as you breathe up. Inhale. And exhale. Rise up this time, creating a back bend. Hustle the And bring your hands to your heart center. Share pose. Breathe in. Forward fold. And as you breathe up. Halfway up as you inhale. Option to Chaturanga or to Downward Facing Dog for your exhale. Back bend. And down Facing Dog. Three-legged dog on the right side. Check with your hips. Notice if your hips are square to the ground. As you square your hips to the ground, flex your back foot and press your hamstring up towards the ceiling. Notice the challenge of the pose. Inhale. Right knee to your right elbow. Shift forward. Inhaling up. Right knee to left elbow. Cultivating core strength. Inhaling up. Right elbow. Tap. Inhale. Left elbow and twist. Inhale. Warrior one. And rise up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring me into your front knee. Inhale. Grounding through the outer edge of your left foot. Breathe in. Warrior two, as you breathe out. Take a moment to check with your alignment. Try to move from knee over the second and the third toe. Notice what it does to your inner thigh. And then contracting the muscles of your back leg, lifting the kneecap and grounding through the outer edge of that foot. Press the mat away from you with your feet as if you're trying to break it apart. And then gently draw in your inner thighs towards each other. Notice what it does to your transverse abdominals, the muscles in charge of core stability. Bring your arms up at the level of the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. I'll reverse your work as you inhale. Side angle option to place your forearm on your thigh and bring the opposite arm up. Option to allow your arm to rest against your shin as you reach up with the other finger. Option to use a block for support. Inhale and exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath. Warrior two. Straighten out your front leg. In my case, I prefer to shorten my step slightly for trikonasana, triangle pose, reaching forward with my arm. Lifting both kneecaps, contracting thigh muscles, finding that core stability and neutral pelvis. And I just move my arms at the arms of the clock. Opposite arm up. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. One more breath. And exhale. People might your toes to point forward. Arms up over your head. Wide legged forward fold. Softening through your knees. Placing your hands on the ground. You can shut it under your arms. You can grab your ankles. You can come to the tip of the fingers. Whatever is more accessible to your body today. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Now I'll be walking my hands to the opposite side of the mat. Stepping back. Going through a vinyasa or skipping that vinyasa and going straight to your downward facing dog. Breathe in. 
Chaturanga. Back bend and downward facing dog. Opposite leg, three leg dog. Square your hips to the ground, flexing your foot, pressing your hamstring up towards the ceiling. Inhale. Knee to elbow for the exhale. Inhale up. Opposite elbow and twist. Inhale. Elbow. Inhale. Opposite elbow. Breathe in. Warrior one. Ground. Create a foundation and rise up. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Warrior two. Three breaths. Reverse your work. Side and whatever version that works for you. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Warrior two. Straighten up your front leg. Triangle pose. Trikonasana. Three breaths. Press up to warrior two. Pivot your toes. Shorten your step. For a balanced pose today, eagle. Garudasana. Grounding through the standing foot, spreading the toes wide. Wrapping the opposite leg over. Option to place the toe on the ground. Option to bring that pinky toe against your shin. Option to wrap your foot behind your calf. Opposite arm comes under. And you can do one wrap or a double wrap. If neither one of those is accessible to you, you can also bring your elbows and your hands together. Inhale, and exhale, lower your hips, and breathe in, and breathe out, inhale, and exhale, now let's switch sides, creating the foundation first, grounding, finding bend on your knees, and then wrap that opposite leg over, Choose what works for your body today. And then arm under or elbows together. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. One more breath. And exhale. Coming off the pose, we're gonna find our way down to the ground through a yogi squat. Slowly separating your feet. Wider than hip with distance. Let's come down to the ground. Take a moment here. Inhale. And exhale. Bow ankle. Soles of the feet touching. Rolling from side to side. Bringing your hands to your shin bones, finding length in the spine. Shoulders back and shoulders down. Breathe in and breathe out. And you can stay right here for the next three breaths or if you would like, you can also walk your hands forward. Finding length on the spine with the, break, with the inhale and perhaps going a little bit further with the exhale. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. And exhale. Coming off the pose. Close your legs. And let's transition to our backs. 
for a bridge pose. Coming all the way down, grounding through the feet, reach with the tip of your fingers until you can brush or almost brush your heels. Pressing your feet down, lift your hips up. Option to interlace your fingers and touch your shoulder blades towards each other. Pressing down with your feet, lifting your hips up, softening through your glutes. Inhale and exhale. And breathe in and breathe out. And inhale and exhale slowly coming down to the ground. Happy baby. You can do either one side, half happy baby, or both sides. If you do both sides, you have the options to place your hands behind your thighs, the option to grab your calves or your ankles or the other edge of your feet. And breathe in. And breathe out. And inhale. And exhale. Breathe in and breathe out. And bring your knees back to your chest. For figure four, this is a reclined pigeon, bringing your ankle over your thigh, creating that figure four, flexing your foot, and you may stay right there the whole time. Or if you like, you can bring your knee towards your chest, interlacing fingers over your um, hamstring or over your shin bone, whatever it might be accessible to you. Keeping your head connected to the ground and your tailbone resting on the floor. Inhale. And exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. And switch sides, bringing your knee to your chest or not keeping your foot on the floor. That may work best on that side. Listen to what your body has to tell you. Your body is very wise. Our mind is usually too occupied with worries and plans and concerns to actually slow down and listen to what our body is trying to tell us. Bring both feet down. And for our final pose, we will create a supine twist, bringing one knee to your chest, extending the opposite leg down, and then cross your knee over as you open your arm. Keeping your shoulder connected to the ground, extending your arm fully or composing your arm. You may place that opposite hand over your knee to encourage the twist without pressing hard. Inhale, and exhale, and breathe in, and breathe out, let's switch sides, extending one leg, crossing the opposite knee, inhale, and exhale, and breathe in, and breathe out. And one more breath. Exhale, bringing your knees to your chest, hugging your arms around. Take a deep breath in. And sigh it out. For Shavasana. Extending your legs, allowing your feet to be Keep with distance or more, and allowing your feet to fall wherever they naturally want to go. If it feels more supportive of your lumbar spine, your lower back, you're welcome to bend your knees and place your feet on the ground. Palms facing up, arms away from your torso. Shoulders relaxing towards the ground. And softness in your expression. I'm going to leave you here.
to choose how long you want to stay on your Shavasana. If you want to stay for a couple of minutes, because that's all you have today, it still serves a purpose of relaxing and creating space in your mind. If you're able to stay for five or more minutes, please do so. Gifting your body with quietness and stillness in a world where we move so fast from one task to the other, from one place to the other. So today is your choice. I will leave you here and you choose when to close your practice with a couple of breaths. Namaste.